Hey guys, this is Elier, and welcome to my Pokemon Top 5 Types series. And this episode is the Top 5 Poison Type Pokemon. So if you haven't seen any of the two previous ones, either the Top 5 Dark or the Top 5 Fairy, then you'll need to know that these can include legendaries, and they can also include 6 Gen Pokemon. And you'll also need to know that I do these every Sunday until we run out of types, and then I'll have to figure out what to do after then. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. So this episode is the top five poison-type Pokemon, so let's get right into it. Number five is Skunk Tank. Now, Skunk Tank is a poison dark type, and as you know, I do like dark types, but I just think Skunk Tank is cool. I mean, it's a skunk. I mean, that's cool. I like skunks. Skunks are actually kind of... Well, I mean, they're not really cute, but... They are in cartoons. They are in cartoons, so that's... But anyway, Skunk Tank, he's cool. His ability, Stench or Aftermath. And he could be 50-50 gender, doesn't matter. I'd prefer him more male, just because he looks more like it. But yeah, Skunk Tank's cool. I mean, it could learn Flamethrower, as you might you could see in um, Pokemon Platinum. They had that. So yeah, Skunk Tank, he's cool. Now... Not the best, not my favorite, and anyway, that's why he's five. Number four is Muck. Now, as you may have heard me talk about in the past, I had a battle with a friend, and we both used Mucks, and we both had our defense and special defense maxed out, and our evasiveness was maxed out, and we were struggling, like literally using the struggle move, because we had no moves left, and it was just crazy, and it took, like, about 45 minutes to, um, finish that battle. You know, we kept reviving and healing and all that, so that's pretty cool. Muck's good, he's bulky, and he's Muck. He's Muck. What else can I say? Number three is Drapion. Drapion is also Poison Dark, much more of my favorite than Skunk Tank, and... He is one of those where you can't really dislike. Like, I mean, you can't say that you do not like Drapion. He might not be your favorite, but you can't say, no, I don't like that. I mean, he's a, scorp he's a scorpion, for goodness sake. A scorpion. And a poison and dark type. How cool is that? He just looks cool. He's, he's awesome. And his attack is very good. And his signature move, Cross Poison... Probably the best Poison-type move, I'd say. Just amazing. Number two is Crobat. One of my good old favorites, Azul from my Pokemon Soul Silver. Uh-oh. Heart Gold Wedlock. Sorry. Crobat. Yeah, so he was Azul in my Heart Gold Wedlock, and he survived with one hit point, I think, like, two times in a s episode. Something like that. And he was just awesome, and he survived right till the end with his partner, Abra, and they were there from the beginning, and that was just awesome. Crobat, he's poison flying, and he's awesome. He can learn cross poison too, which is amazing. And I just like Crobat. Again, with Crobat, you can't say that you don't like it. I mean, it's just cool. I, I really like it. I really like it. And, I mean, he's really good. He's really fast, unlike um, Drapion. So Crobat's really fast, and his attack is good, pretty much just like his Drapion, just he's faster, so. And he's a flying type, so. But, he is not my number one. My number one is Dragaggle from 6th Gen Kalos region. Dragaggle is a poison dragon type, and his ability is poison point or poison touch. Now, poison touch is kind of like poison point, but instead of you poisoning your opponent if you get attacked, it's if you attack your opponent, then they will get poisoned. So that's kind of cool. The only th bad thing about Poison Touch on Dragaggle is Poison Touch only works with physical moves. And Dragaggle is not a physical attacker at all. His special attack is good. Like, it's, like, pretty decent. Like, really good. <laughs> And his special defense is insane. He probably has the highest special defense besides Gudra, which is the 6th gen pseudo-legendary. So he's just awesome. When I first seen him, I'm just like, yes, I really need that. 
And he's a seahorse, but he's really big, actually. Like, you could picture... Like, you might think, like, well, seahorse kind of small, but he's actually really large, which I think is cool. And Poison Dragon, that is a new type combo, so he's the first of that. His special defense is crazy good, and I just, I just love it. I just love it. It's awesome. Dragaggle, my number one favorite poison type Pokemon. So there you go, that wraps up my top 5 poison type Pokemon for this week. Now next week, I'm going to let you guys decide because I'm not sure if I should do the top 5 grass types or the top 5 ghost types. So you could decide on that and you could just comment or you could be like, um, you could comment <laughs> And let me know if you would rather see Top 5 Grass or Top 5 Ghost. You only have choices between those. I will get to your favorites later on. You might be like, well, hey, I want Electric. Well, I'm going to say like, oh, hey, um, I'll get to it later. Not in a mean way. Not in a mean way. I just don't really feel like doing that type right now. So you have the choice between Grass or Ghost. So that should be cool. And then I will have that next Sunday. So, like always, I will see you guys next time. And I hope I could join you with me together. And uh, we could watch the top five ghost or grass type Pokemon on Sunday. Yeah, I will see you next time, guys. Touch me, touch me, don't be sweet.